Excited that I didn't even put real shoes on. I just fucking wore my slippers out. <laughs> it is currently, I don't even know what time, nine o'clock at night. The day before my, my, my boob job. Currently in the bathroom of my Airbnb. Well, one great acapella. <laughs> acapella, that's not acoustics. I just feel like the lighting is best in here, so be patient with me, okay? The process of starting this whole journey, I'm not gonna lie, very stressful, very anxious. I have been talking about getting boobs for probably the last two years of my life. Not including how long I fantasized about it when I was in high school. And now that I'm here, I paid for them in full and I'm taking the medicine. I just, it doesn't feel real. It really doesn't. So I'm going to explain the process leading up to the surgery and then I'm going to be filming afterwards, but it's the night before. And I just got done filming clips for TikTok of like trying on some of my favorite shirts before I, you know, get them done. And then once my boobies are all healed up, I'm going to be... I just seem so tired in these clips and it's because of the medicine. Filming the aftermath. So I'm going to insert the, the before now. I haven't tried this on yet since I got my job done. Huh. Oh, yeah. I wanted to talk about first the medicine that I'm on because I feel like that's an important part of this process. Secondly, the cost of it. Third, how I chose my doctor. And fourth, just like my results, how I'm feeling. I know that's like a huge thing for a lot of people and something that was very scary for me as well. And I'm not gonna lie, it was very anxious this like whole week coming up to it because I got here the 11th and my surgery is the 15th and I'm going to be here till the 21st so <laughs> the day that I got here it was my pre-op and that's essentially when you go in and talk to your doctor about you know everything that you feel you kind of get a general consensus on the size that you're going with because they usually well with my doctor they ordered 
all the sizes that I was like in between and went from there. So I was in between like 280, 250, and then like my max was 300. My main concern is that I didn't want to go too big because you see, I'm very tiny. I didn't want to look huge on top. I only weigh maybe like a basis of like what I'm working with. I'm around 115 pounds. My bra size has not gotten over an A cup. <laughs> like they literally have not grown since middle school. I also don't really wear bras often right now because there's just nothing there. So hold up. And wearing bras is very uncomfortable for me just because I feel like there's no importance of it right now. The first thing I'm gonna be talking about is the medication that I'm on. So the first one, um, so this is Celecovix. This, I'm not exactly sure what it's used for. Give me a second. I'm back. I have my phone because my doctor sent me an outlines list and I'll, I'll include what that list looked like. I'm basically outlining the days that I start taking my medicine because I'm taking two medicines before I go to surgery. And the importance of this is to decrease the amount or the need of the pain medicine following my surgery, which I don't know if other doctors do this. I just express my importance about not wanting to rely on like heavy pain meds because I do have a history in my family of drug addiction. So that's something that I just want to be cautious of. I don't want to end this entire process being addicted to something. And the second one that I'm on is called GABA, gabapentin. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. It's also known as Neurontin. Neurontin. And this is the uh, nerve pain. It's also used in combination with Celebrex. To, and it has been shown to help reduce the requirements for post-operative narcotic pain. So essentially these are just both helping me in the process of healing. <laughs> Afterwards, the medicine that I have, because I already picked up one of them, and it's an anti-nausea medication. It's called Ondestron. Ondestron. Other one that I'm going to be picking up, which is the actual like pain medicine, is called Diazepam, which like most people know Diazepam. Obviously with all medication, there comes like certain problems not like problems things that you should be aware of while you're taking them and i'm pretty sure these two just have like i'm not to be drinking alcohol i need to be eating out there which i've been like trying to focus on for the last couple of days and i low-key forgot about the alcohol and the day that i started taking them i had like four or five mojitos at a place that's near me because they were like on sale so uh <laughs> You live and you learn. I just chugged a lot of water. I also have a really hard time taking me like meds, like pills. I don't know why I freak out whenever I try to swallow them. But anyway, that's the meds part. I just wanted to get that out of the way because I feel like it's important and everyone always wonders and I don't think anyone really talks about it that much. I know it's probably like each their own. I don't have any previous health conditions, um, nothing that I'm allergic to, so this is what you know, my plan is looking like. Now I'm gonna insert pictures of what my sizes looked like when I tried them on, because I did go in twice and I was like in between for a really long time because I didn't want, obviously I already said, to look huge, to look in proportion. My whole purpose of this surgery is so that I can feel like I look a bit more proportioned in my body and also just giving me the extra cleavage that I want. So I'm gonna insert the pictures of the final sizers that I, I liked and I agreed on right now. <laughs> this is 280, I think this is what I'm deciding on. How cool, oh my God, there's cleavage there, holy shit. All right, y'all, today's the day. Today is oh. the fucking day. So, I'm currently on a lot of drugs, not a lot of drugs, but I'm on anesthesia still a little bit, 
I got back to my Airbnb, which is really hard to show you. Discomfort, 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 and like tired than I am in like pain. I'm just so tired, but with the amount of like pressure on my chest, it's just like this, this band on my chest right now. Um, yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. They look good though. They're a little pointy right now, but that's granted. I, I'm literally, I got done at nine o'clock and it's 11.14 right now. But I didn't film like a whole lot of anything. I have like cheese crackers all over my face because I ate cheese crackers. Well, I ate one fucking cheese cracker when I woke up. Uh, but yeah, I think this is all you guys are gonna get for right now. But I wanted to update and like fucking record this footage because I know I'm gonna geek later. So, I just feel like I've done like a really intense chest workout. Like, fucking ripped my muscles in half workout. Which I guess I did rip my muscles in half. In a way. Oh my god, my Airbnb is so pretty. I'm gonna get off here. <laughs> but they're done. I did it. Peace out. Hello, my friends. The deed is done. I'm feeling pretty good. It is literally my second day post-op, and like my surgery was yesterday. And not to say, okay. So first thing I wanna say, I want a lot of drugs. I like a whole lot of drugs, but I'm gonna need antibiotic, I want a muscle relaxer, I'm on a pain medication, and I'm on an anti-inflammatory. I will put all the names like on the screen so I don't feel like trying to pronounce them. <sighs> <sighs> Coughing, terrible, hurts. I haven't even had a sneeze yet, but I don't want to know what that feels like. Secondly, I am feeling good for the most part. I thought it was going to be a lot more painful. I'm not allowed to shower for like 24 or 48 hours, and I think I'm approaching 24 hours, and I really want to see him, but I also don't want to like mess up the healing process, so I might wait till tomorrow. That's why you see all this like red stuff on me. It's like the stuff they wipe me down with to make sure that like everything was sterile. Pain-wise, if I had to give it a rating out of 10, it's probably like a 6.5 right now. Um, but it's not really even like pain unless I move too fast. It's more or less like an uncomfortable feeling. Kind of like I did like a really heavy workout and then I had to like go to work and like lift a bunch of boxes, you know. Other than that, I've just been trying to stay hydrated. I've been in bed and I'll show you my bed area. I can also get up and walk and everything. So I guess that's good because I know I know some people are like not able to walk when they're they're all messed up. But here is the bed situation. I was sleeping right there with a bunch of pillows behind me and then I had I think another pillow that I put on the table. Oh yeah, it's over there. Um excuse my mess by the way. I'm just, you know recovering but i slept there and i literally had to sit up all night last night not that i care too much because i want to heal correctly but in that same sense i would like to sit back the only other thing that i probably would have like the smallest complaint about is my back pain um and that's just because i can't like sit up straight because these like this is just like a lot holding me down but 
that's the update for right now. Once I'm able to like put clothes on and move around a little more, I will update you. But I have them. They're in. They're I'm doing great. sitting inside um i just woke up from like a two hour nap so i'm currently walking down to the river that we're staying on wow it just looks so pretty from here already i just needed to go for a little walk my doctor suggested i walk around a little bit i think he meant inside though but i need to be in nature so pretty. Say hi, puppy. It's very pretty. I think I'm just gonna enjoy it for right now and then go up. I need to drink some water because I'm probably really dehydrated. Also, this is not fake tan. This is like the, the cleaning surgical stuff they put on me. I just haven't felt like cleaning it off yet. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, obviously, a little sore, but I'm feeling good. I'm very sad to leave, but I'm looking forward to the future. This is my little update on leaving this beautiful little oasis. If I haven't included the clip yet, I'm gonna include it now. But boy, I'm gonna miss this place so much. to be answering your questions finally no. first one was was it painful and what is the recovery process like which i hope what i just showed you that entire process was helpful and seeing like how i was feeling so far the process in itself really wasn't that hard i if anyone is watching this and thinking of getting a boot job understand that you are probably going to be down for the count and like working out and being able to lift heavy stuff for probably the first three to four months and i say that to be generous there you could be feeling better earlier and i was for the most part like i could do most things but i also try to hold off because i wanted my healing process to go as smoothly as possible so that's something to keep in mind as well that you really just want to give your body the time for it to heal you. I am just now getting back into my routine of things and just actually being 100% my strength. And I'm finally at the six month. It's been quite a while. I think I'm actually at like five months, like five and a half months so far. I think in April, 
it'll be a full six months. So far, I'm feeling great, no problems. I'm finally getting like full feeling. I thought I had feeling before. Nah, <laughs> I did not. <laughs> There's, they're still re-equating themselves. And I feel like they'll still be settling in for probably the next additional six months. They said the first like two years is really the progression period, you know? I had a lot of questions in regards to just like if I was happy with my results. Yeah, I really like, there's nothing that I would change about them. I like the size of them. I was really nervous, obviously during the process of this because there were so many people telling me that I was going to hate my results and that I didn't, and like granted, I was scared. <laughs> I was going under the knife. I was changing something about my body. I didn't even necessarily hate my body before, but I just knew there was a part of me that felt just so insecure on the inside about my chest size. <sighs> something that I, I don't feel like a lot of people talk about and this is something that I'm gonna include in my thing because or in my explanation because someone asked me later on why I ended up getting the surgery and you know I feel like it's an accumulation of things I feel like there people are like oh she was like super insecure and so she went and got them done and like yeah I didn't like my titties before not gonna lie like they were a bit smaller than I wanted them to be and they just didn't seem like they fit my body at the size that they were for me, my own personal opinion about my body. <laughs> Another reason that I did indeed go through with the surgery, and this was just kind of like a, something that I knew I wasn't going to have to deal with, I guess, anymore, is when I had a smaller chest and I do create content on the internet, I post TikToks, I do fun photo shoots, and I really just enjoy being a presence on social media. That being said, there are a lot of weird, weird people on the internet. And I can't really tell you how many comments I used to get in regards to my body, specifically my chest size. Um, and I don't know if it was because of my small chest or the fact that I do kind of have a baby face, but I, I don't know, seemed like a magnet for, for very weird people. And to each their own, but that is just not something that I will tolerate on my page. And I did not just want to like continue and I, I know it was my body and I didn't have to change anything if I didn't want to, but it did make me uncomfortable. And I don't really want to move forward with that being kind of like the beginning of who I am as a person, person, person. And the fact that I kind of started this process two years ago when I was turning 19 um, and just kind of blowing up randomly on the internet. And I've had like multiple TikToks now. So it's kind of hard to try to like step back and really just evaluate myself and my presence and what I'm bringing to the internet. And granted, like there are so many people that are gonna look at what I do and like my lifestyle and they fucking hate it. And I get that, it's not for everyone and that's okay. Like I get it. But for me personally, there are just lines and I think we all have boundaries. And I just personally would like to stop being a center pole for people who have these weird <coughs> fantasies that they want to play out on me. I can't tell you how many like people unfollowed me specifically because I didn't have a small chest anymore because they wanted nothing there. They wanted like a clean shaven, like childlike body. And it's just like not something, I, I couldn't even gain weight without people being like, eh, I guess she's becoming a woman now. Like I'm not already a woman, 21 years of age. That is part of the reason. And before I get those comments, it's like, oh, I wish you wouldn't have thought that like, you changed your body because of that. I changed it for me, for my comfortability. On top of everything else, I was not comfortable with looking at myself in the mirror. And there are just certain things in my life that I truly want to be able to do. I am huge into modeling and there are certain companies that I want to be able to work with that I have to be 100% comfortable and secure in who I am and my appearance. And I cannot tell you just the confidence I feel. I feel like I look like I radiate a different energy. And I feel like everyone around me has told me kind of the same thing, but I radiate a different type of just confidence now. I know that when I'm on the internet, I'm kind of like half naked all the time. It's kind of like the vibe for most of the girlies, they know. But I don't feel the need to kind of overcompensate for what I look like anymore. I feel myself just being more often. Like I don't have to overthink about what I'm doing or what I'm saying or what I'm wearing. What I'm not wearing, you know, I just I just am. 
<laughs> and like this is the first time in my life where I truly felt like I could just be and not feel odd. I don't know how the boobies did that, but I think just investing in your confidence and yourself, it can go a long way. And I think investing in your appearance, though some people may think it's really vain, feeling good about yourself and how you look, it, it leads into how you feel. At the end of the day, I feel better because I feel like I look better. I had a lot of questions from girls asking about nipple sensitivity. I was prepared to not have any, um, and I actually, I have mine. Um, they're doing fine. I mean, obviously it took a little while for my like boobs to start feeling, and I obviously didn't touch them. Like, I, there was a period where I straight up could not touch them because they hurt. But <laughs> I can touch them now, and they feel fine sensitivity-wise. They do get overstimulated though. I feel like that's the biggest problem I have now. They hurt. It feels like they're on fire sometimes. Um, I've also had a problem with nipple rings, which is another question I get asked a lot if I was able to keep them in or if I had to take them out. I do have them. Uh, it's been a painful period though, trying to keep them. Um, I guess the size I originally had was way too big because my boob was so small and I didn't notice. But when I have, you know, these these jugs now, <laughs> I like my the little thingies would press and indent on my chest, and it was so painful. And they still kind of do it, but it, I guess because it's not as big, it doesn't hurt as bad. But oh my god, it's I contemplate taking them out. And I love my piercings, you all know I do. I, you know, I suffered through, I got new piercings. They're staying in so far. I said the size that I went to already, but this was a question that was asked. Uh, I got 280cc, brand was Santra, and I got the high profile. Were you thinking about going bigger and are you happy with your final size? I am really happy with my final size. My main worry, which my doctor, when I went in, he was like, so, I usually ask like all of my patients, are you more worried about going too big or are you too worried about going too small? And I was like, I really don't want to go too big because I'm just so small. Like it would not have looked normal for me to have like but donkey donkeys on my chest. And he was very aware of that too. He was like, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. We want you to look proportional. You want to look natural. I wanted to possibly go to like 275. The 5cc difference is not going to make any change, so I just went with the 280 and I was a little worried for the first like month, I'm not going to lie, I had some anxiety, because they were huge, <laughs> they were up there too, like they were, they were loud and proud, they look fucking fantastic, I wish I could just like, I'm out, but I can't do that on YouTube, so, next question, this is the Biocorum Corneum, advanced scar treatment it comes in this little bottle thingy and yeah my incisions aren't huge either i went underneath so my scars are right here i went personally with the dual plane which is like partially under the muscle but partially like under your skin kind of but it's like a nice pocket to put it in that's what my doctor told me so i think that's all the questions thank you all for staying with me along this journey i'm kind of I don't know, I was like reminiscing the other day. I was like, I can't believe it's kind of been six months already since I've gotten them done. This entire process has been super life-changing. There were a lot of people that said that I was gonna regret it and then all, all this other <coughs> bullshit. And if you're watching this video and you are like looking for a sign to get your boobs done, I can't tell you that this is the sign. I'm not gonna be one of those people that tries to say that this is a sign to get some clout out of you. You have to be okay with it. You have to be okay with the judgments that people are going to come at you with for altering yourself on top of insecurities. People are going to claim that you're super insecure about yourself. I feel like something people don't talk about is emotionally how much and how big of a deal it is. I know I joked about it for a very long time about how I was gonna get titties and how, you know, I didn't wanna see my, my small boobs anymore. And then you're in the waiting room and then you are in a gown by yourself waiting for the doctor to come get you and you're staring down at your chest for the last time it's a lot i'm really happy with my choices i spent a lot of time prepping myself emotionally taking pictures and really just appreciating my body before i went through this final stage i feel like there are a lot of people that jump into changing themselves so fastly and they don't really analyze 
it's a slippery slope once you get on it. You realize that this change is not the end all. You're going to have insecurities after this. You're going to feel shame, anxiety, You're going to feel anger sometimes at your body for things that it cannot control, both in the healing process and just trying to cope with it mentally. It's an entirely different thing. So be prepared for it and be kind to yourself. You're gonna have those comments that make you feel stupid. And in reality, you did what you did. You're doing what you're doing and you're gonna do what you're gonna do, but you're gonna be okay, regardless of the fact. Do your research, prepare yourself, take care of your body. I got really inspirational there. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being so supportive. And to the people who are going to watch this that really did not want me to do this. I don't know what you say. Um, I'm very happy. And this is just the beginning of my life, of my career, of my confidence. And just becoming who I feel like I'm supposed to be becoming. I am an entirely different human being than I was two years ago. And I originally started planning this and calling all my doctors. And I think that she would be fucking ecstatic one to see him and two which is who i am i'm like a cool aunt now for watching i hope this video was even remotely helpful subscribe if you like listening to me talk if you don't you just think i'm pretty you can also just subscribe i will give you guys a yearly update when these motherfuckers are a year old because they're getting a birthday you guys think i'm not gonna give my boobs a birthday